It's Ramadan in Pakistan. A holy month of religious reflection and dusk to dawn fasts. No food, no water, and absolutely no indulgences while the sun is up. City streets, usually teeming with traffic and a cacophony of car horns, are quiet, calm. Stores, normally swarming with shoppers, remain closed for much of the day, opening for just a few hours. For an entire month, each year during the daylight hours, the country slows its pace. The country's mindset also changes and becomes slightly more religious. You know, even if people aren't religious, they pretend to be religious. Asif Akhtar is a writer and blogger in the city of Lahore. He says the focus on faith during Ramadan shifts not only the public's actions, but corporate strategies as well. Cell phone companies have Ramadan packages where you can call a certain number and get Quranic verses to, to your phone. And um, radio stations, instead of playing um, you know, more uh, hip and happening kind of party songs, they start playing more religiously oriented music. Piety may reign during the day, but just before the sun goes down, the city wakes up. Families rushing to buy fresh food and drink with which they'll end their day of fasting. The streets and food stalls are suddenly alive with activity. An exhausting month-long pattern of long, slow days and short, quick meals that ends with a country ready to rejoice. So tonight is known as Chandra, which means night of the moon. It means the new moon has been sighted, the month of fasting is over, and everyone's out to celebrate. The sighting of the new moon signifies the beginning of Eid, the holiday marking the end of the month of Ramadan. In cities like Lahore, that means neon-lit and food-fueled street fairs long into the night. Families flock to the stores, stocking up on jewelry and decorations for the Eid holiday the next day. And that very next day, the focus shifts again, this time back to the home base. In my family, the Eid holiday is a reason to gather, for babies to be fawned over and food to be eaten. Lots of food. <laughs> Despite indulging in the plentiful provisions, not everyone is impressed with the day's significance, like my 14-year-old cousin Asif. It seems really like, you know, exotic or whatever to an outsider, but it's really just another day. <laughs> Nor is everyone clear as to exactly what they're celebrating. You're supposed to basically be grateful to God and that's why you sacrifice no, that's, that's the other Eid. <laughs> that's Asif's 19-year-old sister, Saliha. Yes. No, no, this time but for their mother, Anila, the meaning is clear. My focus is on spending time, good quality time with my family because it's a holiday and if you have children who are also grown up and are all doing their own thing, you don't get that much time to get together with them. And so on a holiday like this, then you tend to all get together and you have a great time. After a month of duty and discipline, something everyone can celebrate. Amna Nawaz, Lahore, Pakistan. Yes.